Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, published in 1811, is a classic novel that explores the lives and romantic fortunes of the Dashwood sisters, Eleanor and Marianne. The narrative unfolds against the backdrop of early 19th century England, portraying the challenges and triumphs of two very different sisters navigating love, societal expectations, and personal growth. The story begins with the death of Mr. Dashwood, leaving his wife, Mrs. Dashwood, and their three daughters Eleanor, Marianne, and Margaret in a precarious financial situation. The Dashwood women are left to the mercy of Mr. Dashwood's son from his first marriage, John, and his unsympathetic wife, Fanny. Despite the promise of financial support, Fanny persuades John to provide a meager income for his stepmother and half-sisters, forcing the Dashwoods to seek a more modest lifestyle. Eleanor Dashwood emerges as the embodiment of sense in the novel. Practical, composed, and rational, Eleanor navigates the challenges of their reduced circumstances with grace and fortitude. Her deep sense of responsibility and emotional resilience make her a pillar of strength for her family. Eleanor's sense of duty extends to her romantic life as well, as she develops feelings for Edward Ferrars, the brother of Fanny Dashwood. Marianne Dashwood, in contrast, embodies sensibility. Passionate, impulsive, and guided by her emotions, Marianne is the antithesis of her older sister. She rejects societal conventions and openly displays her feelings, particularly in matters of the heart. Marianne's romantic ideals lead her to fall deeply in love with the dashing and charismatic John Willoughby, who appears to reciprocate her affections. As the narrative unfolds, the Dashwood sisters face a series of romantic trials and tribulations. Eleanor discovers that Edward Ferrars is secretly engaged to another woman, the conniving Lucy Steele. Despite her personal heartbreak, Eleanor remains composed and keeps her emotions hidden from those around her. Marianne, on the other hand, experiences the tumultuous highs and lows of passionate love with Willoughby. However, her romantic dreams are shattered when Willoughby abruptly ends their engagement. The narrative weaves together the contrasting romantic journeys of the sisters, highlighting the complexities of love, societal expectations, and personal values. Eleanor's pragmatic approach to love and heartbreak becomes a source of support for Marianne as she navigates the emotional aftermath of her broken engagement. Austin skillfully examines the consequences of sensibility without sense and the pitfalls of a purely rational approach to matters of the heart. The sisters' fortunes take a positive turn when they befriend the affable Colonel Brandon. Brandon, who is secretly in love with Marianne, provides support and stability to the Dashwood family. However, Marianne, still nursing her wounds from Willoughby's betrayal, remains oblivious to Brandon's feelings. The narrative introduces additional characters who contribute to the unfolding drama. The Steele sisters, Lucy and Anne, play pivotal roles in the romantic entanglements of the novel. Lucy's cunning manipulation of Edward Ferrars's affections and Anne's involvement in the revelations of the plot add layers of intrigue and complexity to the story. The novel takes a significant turn when the Dashwood sisters travel to London. There, they navigate the intricacies of high society, encounter old acquaintances, and experience the unpredictable twists of romantic fortune. Eleanor grapples with the revelation of Edward's engagement to Lucy Steele, while Marianne, still pining for Willoughby, faces the consequences of her impulsive actions. The climax of the novel occurs when Marianne falls seriously ill after wandering in the rain to find Willoughby. Her dramatic decline forces a reckoning with her previous behavior and prompts a reconsideration of her values. Eleanor, always the pillar of strength, supports her sister through this challenging time, highlighting the enduring bond between the two. As the narrative reaches its resolution, the Dashwood sisters find love and happiness in unexpected ways. 
Eleanor discovers that Edward Ferrars' engagement to Lucy Steele has been broken off, and he returns to declare his love for her. Marianne, after recognizing the true worth of Colonel Brandon's steadfast devotion, reciprocates his feelings, and they marry. The story concludes with the sisters achieving a harmonious balance between sense and sensibility. Eleanor's rationality is tempered by the recognition of the importance of emotional expression and individual happiness, while Marianne learns to appreciate the stability and constancy offered by Colonel Brandon. The novel ends with the promise of enduring love, personal growth, and the resilience of the Dashwood sisters in the face of life's challenges. Sense and Sensibility stands as a testament to Jane Austen's keen observations of human nature, social conventions, and the complexities of love. Through the contrasting characters of Eleanor and Marianne Dashwood, Austen explores the interplay between reason and emotion, duty and desire. The novel remains a timeless exploration of the universal themes of family, romance, and personal growth, offering readers a nuanced and insightful portrayal of the human experience.